Hello, welcome. This is your 2024 tarot reading. It's me, Danielle Carmelita, your favorite tarot reader and astrologer. Welcome to 2024's reading. We will discuss whatever question you want to know for 2024. We will look into your love. We're going to look into your career, money. It's all here. Okay. So this is a pick a card. If you are new to pick a card, you will go and click the timestamp down below and pick one of these decks and that will be your reading. Now for PAL 1, we have the Malachite Crystal. For PAL 2, we have the Amethyst Crystal. For PAL 3, we have the Pyrite Crystal. And PAL 4, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal. PAL 1, 2, 3, 4. Go ahead and click your reading now and it will start. See you guys there. Okay, group one, welcome to your reading. You picked the Malachite Crystal. Gorgeous, gorgeous green crystal here. And we will put it over there. So first let's, um, let's discuss your overall year. Ooh, there could be a love interest coming your way. There is new opportunities in love, new opportunities in tapping into your intuition, being compassionate. Ooh, we also have money. This is the energy. Uh, either there is, if you are male or, well, no. There could be a love interest with a queen of pentacles, female. Or there could be some money coming in and you are the queen of pentacles. You could be starting to save money in 2024 or serious about your health or serious about your time, your goals, your career. All that happens with this energy. Knight of Swords. This is someone who is going to start speaking out, someone who is going to do the research, very good at communicating, someone who is very skilled at communication. Also, this is the energy of moving fast. So someone who's going to be moving fast in 2024. This also could be an air sign, uh, not old, but young, and this could be a Gemini Libra are an Aquarius, but it's all about socializing in 2024, moving fast and really being skilled with your words and being confident with your words. Okay. Now this is someone who's going to be doing a lot. A lot is going to be on your plate. You're going to be able to handle it. Emotionally, there may be some um, high emotions as you see the water here and the boat is a uh, hard to manage with the water, but that is life. And at the same time, you will have some major priorities, major juggling, um, juggling a lot, um, in 2024. And then lastly, we have the page of cups. This could be a young water sign coming into your life. And, um, at the beginning we have the ace of cups. So it makes me think that at the beginning of 2024, you have this love interest and Maybe it's you, or maybe you are the person who is uh, very intuitive and this is going to happen. This could also be a water sign coming into your life and bringing some opportunities in love and water signs are Cancer, Scorpio and are Pisces. Oh, actually, let me pull one more. Actually, let me scoot these over. Let me pull one more. And we have the energy. Waters are high. Emotions are high. There's some words said or some thoughts that you are thinking. And it's all in your head. You are going to feel like the victim. And we'll get into to this a little bit more. But this is 2024. Feeling like you are the victim. But it's all made up in your head. So be aware of that coming into the year. We'll get into more. We 
cards are actually stuck together. We have the Eight of Swords. Actually, I'm going to place them and then break them down. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. And, ooh, a new journey with this here. Now, this is the same card as this. This is the Eight of Swords, and it's coming up twice for you in 2024. And this is having limited thoughts, okay? And feeling like the victim, inability to be in the present moment. And it looks like God is giving you something and you are not really paying attention to it. You're blinded by it. Um, it makes me think, see also here, see God is giving you opportunities and you're looking at the other way. You want to look at this. Um, this is also some tension, some paranoia. You could be feeling trapped. There is some shadow work that needs to be done. Fear of unknown as well. Um, but God is giving you this new opportunity of love. So let's see what we can do in 2024 to change this victim mentality. Um, also, we have here some money coming your way or a person who is financially stable, someone who's very grounded and someone who's really health conscious, someone who's serious about goals as well. That is coming your way in 2024, or this is the energy that you will embody. And the Six of Cups is something from the past. So this person could be coming from your past or some kind of energy that's very familiar to you. Um, it's like very pure and innocent. Very strong memories. So it makes me think if these two people is something that you used to be or something um, that reminds you of your past. This also is a uh, healing your inner child. This uh, card, the Six of Cups, is a sun in Scorpio. So if you are Scorpio, you know about healing energy, transformation, um, dealing with the darkness to come into the light. Um, so it could be some new fresh feelings um, that's coming your way through nostalgia, through your past, okay? But there is some connection here with these two energies, these two people. Something with the earth sign and something with the air sign or someone who acts like these air signs and earth signs. Someone who's an older female who is very stable and grounded, like I said earlier, serious about their health. Or someone who's a male, young, and they move fast. They have uh, vocally, they talk a lot, they communicate, they're into teaching, reading, um, very slick with their words in a good way, Okay. And um, this is going to come in 2024. Now let's talk about this juggling several things here. Now it looks like from here you go from the past and healing to the seven of cups, which is the next step in the cups. And you are juggling multiple things. And this is someone who has like several options. And it, maybe you're having so much to deal with that you have too many options that you ha have going on. It's hard for you to choose. Your judgment may be cloudy because um, usually there's clouds. Um, also, this could be like psychedelic, like you're in a dream state. And it makes me think with it touching this uh, page of cups that there could be a dream and you're um, floating back from reality to your dream world. So... Be aware of that. We do have a lot of Pisces energy in 2024. So um, be aware of not focusing on reality or being in a dream state or maybe tapping more into the subconscious instead of just focusing on tangible items. Maybe focus on things that you cannot see, um, feelings that are unexplainable. But that is something that you should be totally aware of. Um, but... Don't spread your energy too thin or be fooled by daydreams or illusions. And hmm, we'll get more into that. But this makes me think that there's something from reality to um, daydreams with this. 
card and there's fogginess there's some neptune pisces energy especially with this young water sign now next we have the fool and the fool is a new journey so you're going to have a new journey in 2024 get excited about that i mean i'm always excited for a new journey this also represents aries energy so starting starting initiating something fresh starts um, also the zero is infinite possibilities here so you do have the infinite possibilities. There's also Uranus energy. So expect the unexpected when doing things and think about your hopes and dreams in the future. Now in this card, the person is jumping and taking a leap of faith. And that's what you have to have. You have to have faith while dealing with this new journey. You are somewhat of a fool in 2024 because you're naive to what is going on and you have to learn some life lessons and start a new journey and start the whole fool's journey all over again at the same time you still need to have faith you need to pack light so you can take in all the lessons now here you have this new journey and at the beginning of the reading you have the eight of swords and at the end you have the eight of swords and it makes me think that you are sandwiched into this fear and this illusion and it's all in your head it's not real it is just words you need to take the blindfold off and start this new journey Okay, so let me um, go with, um, let's discuss your love real quick, and we'll discuss your career and money. This is the overall in 2024. Now, for your love, there's mystery here. So um, this definitely makes me think of Scorpio, could be coming your way, someone who's very mysterious in love department, or you maybe want to hide your love. Um, let me actually pull another card with that too. Um, peace we have peace with love so in the love department it's going to be very harmonious this also reminds me of Libra um, energy but there could be a Scorpio and Libra coming your way when it comes to love at the same time you may want to you may find peace in keeping your love interest a secret or how you're pursuing love keep it a secret now let's talk about your career for 2024 and for career, there may be some things that are causing you some anger in your career. And let's see what else. And you need to surrender to the anger. So surrender to the emotions. And sometimes you think anger is bad. I, I don't feel like anger is bad. We all need to feel all emotions. We are all human. And when you're feeling angry, you need to release and let go and let, let God. That's what I think when I think surrender. Don't hold on tight. Sometimes when you're angry, you want to hold on tight to whatever it is that you are losing. And usually the anger comes out of stems out of fear because there's really two emotions. There's love and fear. So when you're angry, you're really reacting out of fear. And if you surrender and let God lead the path and have faith, then the career will be dissolved. It would solve itself. If that makes any sense, I hope that makes sense. So release the anger in 2024. You may be angry um, when it comes to your career or someone could be making you angry when it comes to your career and you have to surrender and let God. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Here we go. Okay, so now let's talk about money in 2024. Ooh, there's some growth here. It makes me think of this. So there's some growth financially. Even though you it may have some issues with career, you will surrender to that anger and let go. And creativity. So there's some growth financially through being you, with you being creative, okay? Um, I think that's very positive. This is your 2024. I'm also going to do uh, astrology so go ahead and check out a video on your astrology. Also, I do numerology every year. So we will do a numerology reading as well. Okay, so look forward to that. It's not only this. This is just the first part of your reading. But this is a reading for this video. So check out my other video series for 2024, which is astrology and numerology. Okay, but for 2024, there's some new beginnings in love and in the love, it looks like there is some peace and harmony if you keep it uh, mysterious and keep it a secret and um, not be closed off because myst mystery is also just keeping it hidden um, and people don't have to see it on a stage, okay? And it makes me think that the love department could be an earth sign or air sign because they are all connected to these um, 
cards. Also, when it comes to love, make sure that you are not feeling like you are the victim because God is giving you love and you need to just look that way because God's handing you something. So make sure you are not blindfolded because there could be a love interest right in your face right now. Okay. And then also with love, let me see. Um, it could be someone from your past. Okay. Because it's connecting to that. So, um, maybe someone from your past is secretly liking you because you have that mystery and, um, it's someone who brings peace and harmony into your life. Okay. Now, when it comes to your career, there are some words said maybe from an air sign who is not old, but, um, middle age, um, could be 20, 30s, 40s. Okay. And the anger, is there okay so this anger also could be causing from you doing too much um not prioritizing or having to juggle several things because literally he's juggling juggling and there is some emotions that are running high with the career so be aware of that and remember to surrender maybe you have to surrender to your intuition surrender to a higher being because um, water is very spiritual energy so surrender to the, the feeling and not the emotion and feeling, but, um, when I say feeling, I'm not really thinking of emotion. I'm thinking of like the inner, uh, voice that God is talking to you. Okay. So surrender to that when it comes to your career, because you are juggling a lot. There's a lot of options here. Okay. Now also then lastly, when it comes to money is very, very positive. There's new journey. There's new growth. You have no options, but to grow. And then there's creativity. Now when, and that's how you're going to get the money by being creative. So you want to be different. Also, that is what the fool is. It's Uranus. Uranus is thinking outside of the box. But remember, you have this lingering on top and you have it here. So you want to really focus on not being the victim and not thinking negative thoughts and um, being blinded by negativity. You want to be positive and only see positive and work out of love and not fear. Okay. And that is your complete reading for your tarot in 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye. Hello. Welcome pal to welcome to your reading. Now in this one, I'm doing tarot, but go ahead and check out my next videos in this 2024 series in the new year series, which I'm also going to discuss numerology. And I'm also going to discuss astrology, but we are here now for tarot. You have picked the amethyst and you have picked number two for your reading, which is pile two for your reading. We are going to discuss your career, your money, your love, and overall of 2024. So let's start with overall of 2024. And we have the page of swords and this is definitely someone who is young and there the swords is air energy, but young with earth. So you're taking your time when it comes to your words, you're taking your time when it comes to reading and educating yourself, you're taking your time when it comes to communicating. Okay. Ooh, again, another sword. So maybe this is um, someone who's going to start writing something with communication, um, is what you get with this. I'm thinking because here you have the clouds and here you're like coming through the clouds. So like you're breaking through the fog. You're going to finally see the light. There is a new career opportunity. Um, also there's like new clarity with this because this is about your mental and words. And, um, also, um, it's just very positive. There's expansion and, um, air energy is very social too. So, there is a new time to social and be with um, external energy. We have the temperance. Temperance is a Sagittarius. So it's here for the world. It's very external. It wants to bring the world together. Also, it's about practicing moderation this year. So being a moderate in 2024, not doing too much. This is also um, expansion and luck and being very optimistic. Um, looks positive so far for you guys. Oh, and then to a lot of celebrations. So you are very external. Um, there's some female gatherings happening, a female support group happening for you in 2024. Even if you're a male, that is female support gathering and celebrating with you. Let me pull these cards down actually.
and we have self-made luxury here um, a lot of money a lot of coins okay whatever the job is the money is coming this is someone who's going to be self-made in 2024 so this optimism this faith this um, someone who's also studying philosophy religion um, maybe you're going to be in a religious group or a religious uh, support group or a philosophy group are traveling because this is also um, travel but in moderation okay and um, just doing a lot and having a lot of energy um, especially with this uh, air um, air is a lot of energy but it's very external but with this one little um, internal um, feminine energy it is about having luxury and being self-made financially and we have the magician so this is about manifesting and having the magic, which is really what God has given you all the tools. God has given you the swords, the, the pentacles, the cups, the wand. So God has given you the fire, the drive, the passion. God has given you your intuition and compassion. God has, and to be nurturing. God has also given you the energy of communicating and having clarity and using your mental and logic, then being practical and grounded. All this is going to be used in 2024 for you. This is someone who has action and determination and um, also represents Mercury. Mercury is, again, communication. So I'm thinking communication is going to be big for you this year. We'll get more into it. So we have the chariot. Yeah, so you're moving fast this year. It's a lot of fast energy. Um, the chariot is also cancer. So you could be a cancer or a cancer is coming your way. But this is will and determination and moving fast. Okay, letting your intuition guide you on your movement. And it's a major arcana. And then we have a page of wands. So a young fire sign. And this is fire. So it makes me think that are you a young fire sign or um, earth fire, meaning that you're going to take your time with your passions. You're going to take your time um, with your um, confidence because this is also confidence as well. But the page of wands is drive, passion, creativity, um, very external and also young Sagittarius too. Um could be involved big in 2024, but very external energy again. And um, yeah, it makes me think in 2024, you're outside, you're dealing with people very social and um, very confident here in the beginning of having confidence in the beginning of being creative. King of Cups, a lot of people. <laughs> We got people, people, people here. And then this is celebrations. So um, King of Cups is very emotionally intelligent. Okay. People go to the king for emotions, um, psychological healing and um, for feelings. So a lot of feelings happening in 2024, but in a positive way, you are actually the king or you have the energy of the king or you know a water sign who has the energy of the king in 2024 but there's a lot of people around you people who are very positive none of these people are in the upright and reverse so they're living in their truth so this could be a water sign scorpio cancer or um pisces someone who's tapped into their intuition someone who knows how to interpret their dreams someone who is really here to communicate about they're really passionate about their feelings and passion and it about their emotions and there is emotional intelligence happening here and it makes me think is there some emotional intelligence with this support group this female support group coming your way a lot of water energy so they're very intuitive at the same time also with this faith faith here because any of the cards that are touching are related okay so also with this faith of moderation okay also in 2024, we have, um, this is a Neptune energy and Pisces energy, seven of cups, there's illusions, there's fogginess, could be materialism. Um, ooh, makes me think of materialism, especially when we have this card touching here. I'll have two, two, I want to make it even so we could pull one more. So um, be aware of some false illusions um, with some of the women in the support group. The support group seems... Um, good, but you don't want to um, honor or um, just have any false illusions with any of the females in 2024. But this is also 
some materialism. So be aware of that. You seem like you're going to make some money this year and the self-made energy is going to um, bask in luxury, but don't be too materialistic with that. Okay. And then we have the magician. Oh my gosh. Double God is like, I said what I said. There's a lot of action here. Um, sandwiched in here. It's all about possessing the tools and the power going forward. You're ready to make the best of your energy and the best of the power, best of the tools that God has given you. Um, you have the solution to any of your problems because you have the tools. Also, um, with the magician, they're pointing as above, so below. So meaning that God lives within you. You have what God has given you. Um, be strong. You have mastered over heaven and earth. Also, there's a lot of manifestation that could happen in, in this year. So whatever you dream of, you can manifest because I'm pointing here because cancer is, um, very intuitive. So tap into those dreams and you can manifest. Also, this could be a little dreamy too. So tap into that and you can manifest whatever you want this year, but go forward, pr um, practice having faith. There's something here with communication and words and, um, an air energy and air energy is very communicative, very, there's clarity here. Okay. Um, but it's young and it's a new to you. Okay. And that will happen in 2024. So maybe like an email or someone who emails a lot, texts a lot, something's going to bring some opportunity and you need to go forward and, um, have the determination to move forward and just use your intuition with that. Okay. I don't know why, but I felt like I needed to say that last bit. Now let's do some more. We're going to first discuss your love in 2024. There's some movement in love, very positive. It makes me think that it could be a cancer or you are a cancer, but there's some positive movement with love and a hunger. So you definitely have the hunger to be in a relationship and the hunger it could be that you are hungry or um, really want this young um, fire sign and a fire sign could be a Leo Sagittarius and um, Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Okay. So someone young who is a fire sign um, could be hungry for you or you are hungry for them, but there's some movement towards this fire sign makes me think that it's really a Sagittarius. Then, um, for your career, we have that you will be passionate this year and well, this year in 2024, really passionate about your career and also, um, really tap into the intuitions and what you're feeling, go off of your instincts and could be some sadness, which will make sense because you are, um, passionate about something. And when you're so passionate about something, it could bring sadness to you. Um, so be aware, I'm going to pull one more card. Um, for the career so we can have, um, ooh, lovers. Hmm. Maybe there's something involving love when it comes to your work. And so you want to be aware of that. Um, or it could be a Gemini because this also represents Gemini when it comes to work, which is also very communicative, but, um, there's someone that you need to be in line with when it comes to work. This is a partnership in some way, maybe not even love. Um, but it makes me think of love because there's passion here. And maybe you work with a lover or you're going to, um, but there'll bring some sadness in 2024. Just remember to find someone you're more aligned with because that's what that, um, lover's energy. And this is a major arcana. So this will be a big deal for you in 2024, your career, but find people you are, you have the same values when it comes to working and it may be, and that will heal. Not maybe that will help with that, um, sadness. And I know that some people think like, cause you know, me, I, I have some Libra, placements, um, seventh house placements in my chart. So it really frustrates me that I have to not have to, but I do a lot of life lessons through partners and unions. And that is a part of life. So it could make you sad that you have to learn something through career with a union. It's okay. Um, it is okay to work for yourself and be alone at the same time, we need people. There's a lot of external energy happening here. So you're going to need people. You need to be around people. For example, like if you want to get your car fixed and you're not a mechanic, you will have to go to a, a mechanic to fix it. Some people may go to therapy 
to to a therapist to get healing psychologically. Some people may go to a tarot reader. At the same time, my whole point is, is that you need people to help you become more successful in life. You cannot do everything on your own. That was the whole point of what I was trying to say. So you want to find someone who you are aligned with. Okay. Someone who shares the same values as you. Okay. Maybe it's a Gemini too. And when it comes to your money, there needs to be some mirroring um, behavior. Um, a lot of money being spent and a lot of money being spent out. Okay. That's what I'm thinking with this card. It's a reflection. You're spending a lot and you're earning a lot. Let's see what else we have for money. And again, ooh, the magic. So it's about manifesting. It was in reverse. And I want to acknowledge that, that you need to manifest more and you need to actually, you know what? I'm going to read the card on this one. Because this has, this is to me, this is crazy. Magician, magician, magic. Like this is really, really, okay. So we're going to read the card. The deck of this that I'm reading is the Prism Oracle Guided, Guided, Guidebook, but this is the Prism Oracle. Okay. Finally found it. It is purple. Okay, so this card is representing purple. Purple is often associated with royalty and wealth. Wow, money. Okay, you got some money coming in you, with you in 2024, um, as well as mystery, spiritual spiritual awareness, and mystical mysticism. Mysticism. I can, you know, there's some words I just cannot say. Okay, it has the shortest light light wavelength. And it is tied to both the crown and third chakra, third eye chakra energy centers located on the top of your head. The crown energy center, which is represented by violet, allows us to connect to a higher level of awareness. The third eye is said to be where one can make intuitive or psychic downloads as it sees what it is not present to the naked eye. In witchcraft, purple is a wonderful color to surround yourself with when you're working with and cultivating your creative or enhancing your um inability um intuitive ability wow and i'm just thinking too i'm distracted while reading this because you have the amethyst so this is pretty big in your reading i'm trying to see if there's a lot of purple we do have some purple here but um yeah very very interesting okay so magic is real it is the spark and excitement that comes out of nowhere the act of manifesting manifestation are the feeling of creating something from nothing that is what the magician does create something out of nothing okay this card represents the need to acknowledge the magic and sense of wonder wonder within your life it happens it's happening around you all the time you just need to look for it and it makes me think that when it's in reverse that you're not looking for it and the mirror is just bouncing off of each other Okay, and you need to, first of all, look at the reflection, look at yourself, be open, be aware, and look at that magic. Let's see if um, reflection is purple. Is reflection purple? No, I think it's blue. Anyway, okay, this needs to be in alphabetical order, but um, so you need to really... You're going to have a lot of magic. There's a lot of manifestation happening for you in this um, 2024. So I will write down all my goals financially and and even do like a vision board because you can manifest and work on it every day to have this self-made energy. Um, but be aware of being too materialistic and having too many options. When it comes to love, I'm thinking there's something with a Sagittarius or a Gemini um, coming up. But this is um, really career. And um, it seems like it's probably tied in. Remember, you have this female support group. And remember, there's a water energy, very strong, intuitive. And um, it's really about things that are not tangible, things that you can't touch, but really things that are more emotional and intuitive. And then when it comes to your love, there's movement. You're hungry <laughs> for love. You really want to... Um, have someone be in love with and there could be a page of wands or a Sagittarius, some type of fire energy coming your way. But you want to just keep moving forward and don't look back and go off of your intuitions. Intuitions seem like it's going to be the keynote 
of your year in 2024. Okay, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading and thank you for tuning in. Remember to check out your other parts for 2024, the numerology and the astrology. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye. Hello, group three. Welcome to your reading. You have chose the pyrite. This is very positive and good with money. Um, I think I have to put what its nickname is. I can't think of it, but yes, all about the money. So maybe you're here for money in 2024. We will discuss your love, your career, and your finances for 2024. We're also going to discuss the overall. That's what I'm going to start with. And um, if you have any questions that um, need answering, that will be answered in this reading. Also, um, um, check out my other videos for 2024. We're going to do numerology in the next video and then astrology. So please look out for that in my 2024 series. So let's get started. Group three. Oh, there is a new journey. Who, I mean, who doesn't love that for 2024? Um, gathering of information, really getting ready for this new journey. Um, also, remember to pack light. Uh, your friend is your good luck. Also, um, have faith. Okay, infinite possibilities. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. So you could be bored of something here or contemplating on something. Um, but God is giving you some opportunities when it comes to your emotions, your intuition, um, things that are not very tangible, things that you cannot really explain, but there's a feeling God is giving you that maybe even a love interest, but you seem bored in that, <laughs> in that arena, or maybe you need to contemplate on really what you have. Okay. Let's see what we have. Ooh, there's abundance here. Also, this is um, the card of good luck. Um, but there is someone who has a lot and who's very grateful for what they have, even though you may have been bored. We'll get more into that. And then King of Pentacles, ooh, financially stable and grounded. You are the king, or you could be an earth sign or no earth sign. A male earth sign will be coming your way in 2024. So Capricorn, Taurus, or um, Cap uh, Virgo, okay? Someone who cares about health and organi um, organizing. They care about their body. Very grounded, very logical, very practical as well. Um, serious about time, okay? in 2024 and what no longer serves you you need to walk away from okay there's going to be things that it's not working for you and it needs to end and this is what's going to happen in 2024 and you need to walk away emotionally okay so we'll get more into it let's see what else we have for this new journey of packing light bringing no baggage um, in 2024, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So life is about ups and downs. Be aware of that. Um, life is constantly moving. There's karma. There's things that's going to be your destiny that's happening in 2024. Hmm. Let me see what else we have with that. Again, the full new journey. There is definitely something new starting in your life, in your world. Okay. And it's going to bring some ups and downs. But you have to pack light. You have to have faith. You have to expect the unexpected because it will be happening. There's definitely a new journey. Um, just remember to know that you have the world at your fingertips and to be passionate and very uh, driven and to have courage. Get prepared for those things, to have those things as you prepare for this new journey that's happening um, in this life cycle. Life cycle. This is a beautiful flower blooming. Um, I think it's so gorgeous. I just love roses, okay? So very Libra energy. So you want to find a balance in this chaos of what's going on. And you see the lion in there. So you want to be very courageous in this new journey that's happening for you. Now, let's see also too. whatever this boredom is, whatever you have to contemplate on it, um, it's going to start anew for you. Again, we have the four of cups. Things are coming up twice for you. OK, it's almost like you have to learn the lesson two times. And the four of cups is about counting your blessings and ask for what you want one more time and then God will present it. Make sure that what you have is aligned with what you truly want because there are a lot of things here and you can make a wish with this card it's very good luck um but make sure it's what you really really want don't fail to see the blessings in front of you because we have this coming twice maybe you cannot see it um you need to 
you need time to yourself to think about your options. So really contemplate because you're starting this new journey. It doesn't mean that it has to have move fast, but you have to expect the unexpected. Not happy with the situation in front of you. Don't focus on the wrong things also because this could be someone who's focusing on the wrong things and not the positive. Let me see. This card is very interesting because, you know, it's the Four of Cups and this is the Four of Cups. They're completely different in how they look. And this card is um, it's upside down, not even almost upside down. So it almost makes me think that you're not grateful for what you have. And God has given you these cups here filled with liquids. I don't know if you can see that. So um, really be grateful because you have a lot in 2024. But it, to me, it seems like it's coming twice for you. Like you have to have the lesson twice for you to really know what's going on. Let's see what else we have. And we have the eight of pentacles. Really practicing that craft here. Pentacles with pentacles. Yeah, so, um, I mean, when it comes to the coin, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your money, you're going to be grounded and really focused. Um, maybe even going back to school, really uh, studying or having discipline um, work. You're going to really, um, it's, this is someone who's paying attention to all the details. Like if you really look at all the little details in here, it's like Virgo. So you're going to keep at it. You're really um, like perfecting your craft. Okay, but it's making a lot of money. Okay, a lot of coins. Okay, um, let's see what else we have because something with the money is um, not going to serve you anymore. So let's see what else we have. Oh, I see I didn't pull a card. Actually, I'm going to pull a card over here for this new journey. We have the page of pentacles. So starting off with the money. So maybe you're starting off making money at the beginning of the year and it evolves into this making a lot of money and perfecting that craft when it comes to your coins or this could be a young earth sign so it could be a virgo capricorn or taurus and um earth and earth because page is earth so it's like someone really taking their time and moving slow with this new journey and you have to get it started because life is moving okay life is moving and you have to get the information the world is at your fingertips to start this new journey and it's like you got to start it i feel like it's like you got to start it twice okay and let's go back over here and we have the two of cups yeah so you got to be a um with people who you are aligned with people who you have the same values you guys are equal someone who's more your equal um, someone who brings harmony and balance in your life. Um, I see the roses, love roses makes me think of Libra energy as well, because you have yellow and pink that is Libra color. So very, um, hmm, walk away from no longer serves you because you need to be in a more balanced energy. Definitely is what I get from that, especially when it comes to your emotions and your intuition. So this is overall in 2024 and a lot of things dealing with some money here. Now we are going to start off looking at the first one is love. So let's see how your love is in 2024. And we have consciousness. So it's like you have to be aware of what's coming and you can't um, just dream it. You have to really be out there Um because it's not in the subconscious, it's in the conscious, okay? Um, also, it's purple, and purple is dealing with... I, is this purple or gray? Ooh, it's gray. Well, actually, it's considered a white card. And um, white viewed one way. White may seem like the absence of color, but white light is actually all colors blended together. It can be seen as calming or when perceived as absent nothingness or emptiness. Too much white can seem cold and sterile. Hmm. We'll get into that with the love here. Um, white is often associated with peace is also used to symbolize surrender. Okay, so let's see what this card the conscious means conscious is your ability to feel sense what is around you around us and within us and to tap into a deeper universal connection allow yourself to go beyond yourself and your ego tune into the consciousness consciousness deeply as you move forward in your journey okay so this is what you need to do for love and let's see i'm going to pull another card for love Fear. So it looks like you have some fear and you need to tap into that intuition, boo. 
It looks like you have some fear and you really need to go beyond your ego because fear means that you think there's lack, that there's no one out here to love you. But there is because this is a pink rose and it is very Libra energy. There is relationships in your life. OK, you just have to have some courage. You need to have not not have that fear, really operate out of love. Love is the opposite of fear and fear is always thinking in lack. So when it comes to love, you need to think out of lack, get out of that ego and go beyond your ego. And your ego is really your pride, sis, okay? I said sis, but it could be a sir, okay? Now let's go into your career. When it comes to your career, there's some sadness in 2024 and it makes me think of this boredness or not seeing what you have to see um, and the fact that this happens twice for you, um, but there will be some movement. So it starts off sad, but there'll be some movement. There'll be some travel. There'll be some progression and it's green. Green is representing that moolah. Okay. For you in 2024. Now, now when it comes to the money, this is money. You're hungry. You're thirsty for it. Um, that eight of pentacles is that you are practicing. So it makes me seem like you're really driven to get more money and maybe we'll come in very mysterious places or through healing because mystery makes me think of Scorpio. Also, um, mysterious places, healing, it's something in a very taboo or dark way. For example, I'm a tarot reader. So this could be considered taboo for a lot of people. And this is how I will make my money. That would be kind of the same way, but you have a drive here and you need to walk away from what no longer serves you when it comes to your money and really go off of what balances you and brings you harmony. Okay. Within love. So you have the drive. You're very passionate. You have the drive and you have the hunger and maybe you need to keep it a secret. Maybe it needs to be a mystery on how you achieve your money in 2024. At the same time, it could be something that is what people don't want to do like a garbage man, because that considered a taboo or something that people don't want to do to um, earn that um, coin. So um, you have your career, you have your money and you have your love. This is what we have for you in 2024. Now, remember out of this love, do not live in fear, live out of love. Don't go into that negativity. Do not think in black. I just want to focus on that because that black is sticking out for me. Um, oh, what I want to say, just a reminder, remember, check out the next videos, check out your numerology and your astrology, tie it all in for 2024. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Hello, group number four. Welcome to your reading. You have picked the rose quartz. Love the rose quartz. It's all about love and love. Okay. I love love. Okay. If you did not know. Anyway, let's get started. We are going to first start talking about the overall 2024, everything in 2024, the ups and downs. We'll talk about that. Then we're going to talk about your love, your career, and your money. Okay. And any burning questions you have for 2024, it's going to get answered here. Okay. Now let's see. Ooh, very abundance when it comes to love and family. This is the 10 of cups and a 10 of cups is all about love, family, harmony, uh, emotions. Also, um, the 10 is starting a new journey, um, new and infinite possibilities when it comes to your emotions and your love. Okay. Cups represents love, hence the love here. Um, also family and legacy as well. Well, not really legacy, but I'm thinking more water and cancer, um, because of the cups is we'll set legacy. Okay. But it's 10. It's ending and starting a new journey. Now we will have another 10, which is also ending and starting a new journey. And it is the will of fortune, the will of fortunes. There's going to be ups and downs. There's something with your destiny and karma happening in 2024. We'll get more into it. A lot of movement, a lot of progression also could represent travel in 2024 for you. And stability. So we have two fire here. Um, stability structure could be a wedding. Or maybe you're having a destiny, a, a, a wedding destiny. What is it when you have a wedding overseas? Um, a destiny wedding. I don't know why that doesn't sound right. Um, um, but having a wedding in a different location. This is wedding. This is culmination. This is um, some type of celebration. Maybe a graduation. Also, this is stability because we're dealing with four structure. Um, with your community, with your family, with your home. Okay. That is what we have. We'll, we'll get more into everything. Um, there's going to be some grief, um, something you're lost, something that's going to make you sad 
you have to remember when you have this challenge and this change, uh, a grief and loss that you still have plenty of love behind you. And um, you may be focused on that in 2024. And um, yeah, so it's definitely some heartbreak um, going on. Um, this is something that is uh, same tattoo here, Sankofa, looking at your past. Knowing your past so you won't repeat it in your future. When it comes to this heartbreak, there's going to be some cloudiness here. Maybe there are some words said. This also could represent a surgery or like a heart surgery. Um, but maybe there are some words said here or some thoughts that's going to physically hurt your heart. Feel like it's going to physically hurt your heart. But there's cloudiness here and fogness. And when there's cloudy and fogness, there's no clarity. So, And this words represents clarity, the mind, the mental words, and um, socializing, okay? So um, definitely get into that a little bit later, but let's continue so you can know more about your 2024. So far, all the readings have been very good and informative, which I think it's great. We have the King of Wands. So yeah, very um, fire energy, very passionate, very creative. Um, very confident. Okay. So 2024 is all about confidence, you know, practice the energy of any external, someone who is outside in the sun, in people's business in a great way. Okay. Talking to people, not really talking, but being creative and being around people, putting people together. So um, this could be a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo. Okay. And it's a person and also an energy. So this could be you or this is what the energy you're going to have this year. Someone who's very courageous, someone who's very motivative, someone who's very passionate and driven. All of that is here. Someone who stays and stands strong in their conviction, convictions as well. And it's something linked with this whole, put this here, it's something linked with this whole energy of being abundance too. So um, confident and abundance is happening in 2024 with creativity. Now we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords with this life cycle and this destiny and this karma. Something was your karma and it is stabbing you in the back. So there's something that's going to change. And this change, which is an end of a cycle, okay, also is a 10. 10, 10, 10. This change, which is the end of a cycle, is physically hurting you. So... It makes me think that there is an ending here. Something's done. Something's dead. There is an ending. Also, too, really makes me think that because you have this uh, skeleton here. Um, something's dying. Something's decaying for a rebirth here. Something with words. Something mentally, the way you think, is ending. And um, this confidence of abundance could be happening because something's ending. Okay. Makes me really think because life is about ups and downs. It makes me really think that something is decaying for a rebirth here. Let's see what else we have for you. We have the will of fortune again. Wow. So it's like, it's almost like it's got to come back again for you to acknowledge it. So it happens. And again, for you to move forward, life is about ups and downs. Life is about um, your destiny and life is forever changing and moving. And this is a lot of movement here. So there's some movement It's progressing and let's see what it progresses to with you. Um, we have the high priest. Ooh, so it's progressing. Ooh, it really makes me think of a, a marriage of some sort because like a priest is a uh, solidifying a marriage there's some movement here so like here you have the ending but now it's moving forward again and um makes me think there's something with a change here but this also represents a taurus so um stability not, st not stability um i'm thinking of traditions sorry so traditions and stability in a structure here makes me think like you're having a traditional wedding of some sorts or traditionally being at home taurus is a homebody so this makes me think of home, but there's some movement and um, positive growth, positive uh, travel when it comes to your home. Maybe you're moving overseas, um, but this is um, spiritual. This is spiritual counsel of the traditional sense. So like a pastor of some sort, 
Okay, um, but the five is change. But there is, he holds the keys to the knowledge also too. So it makes me think that someone with this energy, Taurus, or someone with that energy is going to make you have some stability in your life, okay? And then next we have the king, the knight of pentacles, um, someone who moves very slow. It could be hurting you. Um, you could be grieving off this energy, someone who moves very slow, someone who is financially um, about to be stable or about their money or about their coin could be also an earth sign um, but it's someone who doesn't move fast so this makes me think that this could be a slow grief here um, also you have the five here five here you have 10 10 10 a lot of change happening for you a lot of endings and new beginnings and a lot of change okay change change um, so be aware of that but it's moving slow um, he, this is either a young earth sign to Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, someone who cares about their health, someone who is serious about time, looking at the details, um, looking at the smaller picture, not the bigger picture. Um, but this person could be bringing you grief. We'll get more into that, um, as we go. And we have the judgment. So this heartbreak is going to be a calling for you, an awakening of some sort. Um, the judgment is an awakening and wants you to see what is your truth, what is your real calling in life. So um, that is really positive because this also is a potential to heal because you have this heartbreak. So now there is a chance to heal and this is going to awaken you for your true calling, your true judgment, your true healing. Okay. And that's what's going to happen in 2024 i hope that makes sense but we're gonna go over your love your career and your money okay let's see what else we have for love for love there's a lot of passion of course with that fire energy a lot of passion and um with love so you can't be in love with yourself you could be but there's and determination so you can be very determined in the love department and very passionate in the love department it's going to be abundant um there will be some ups and downs maybe you're going to break up with someone because you have this tin here and it'll start anew because life is going to bring newness which it will bring newness newness over here but in the love department there's fashion and um, passion and determination also it's yellow very bright and successful um yellow is also the sun and the sun is all about birth and and um bringing stuff to the light so something is going to be coming to the light when it comes to your love but you'll be determined you won't be giving up and consciousness which is letting go of that ego and being aware of the ego um when it comes to your career so um releasing that ego um, will bring some movement and then when you release the ego then you will have this cycle of change of life changing and let's see what else we have and confidence Ooh, release the ego and it'll boost that confidence especially if you go to something in a traditional route maybe if you lean on a stability with your family and your community or maybe you'll be confident when you have that marriage because it makes me think there's some movement in marriage um but there's some movement in the home structure and um, stability this right here there's confidence in the the fact that you're going to know the knowledge the key holds the secret knowledge and you're going to have some confidence when you let go of this ego and um the darkness will bring the light okay so you have to go through the darkness to have the light but there will be some confidence when it comes to your career very positive there's movement there's progression there's growth but remember to um this taurus is also fixed energy it's going to be stubborn and stay where it wants to stay which is good in this when it comes to your career okay and this is your coin um your money is going to bring some comfort of course um you do have some grief and some loss and some heartbreak when it comes to your money but it will bring some um a true calling but there is some comfort when it comes to money so that means you won't be thinking in lack illumination Ooh, you know what let's read this one okay so we have two yellow cards here and yellow is perhaps the most polarizing of all colors it has been associated with the sun, gold, divinity, positivity, and self-esteem. And at the same time, it correlates with to illness and cowardice. Yellow is connected to the solar plexus energy center. This energy center sits over your stomach, which is often thought as the second brain, and it helps control our moods and emotion needs beyond that what 
our first brain, the one in our heads, tell us. It is also tied to adrenal glands, which trigger the fight or flight response, resulting in anxiety. Yellow is a primary color and also a high visible, a visibility color. It is one of the colors that the human eye is most sensitive to, and as a result, is often used to signal safety or caution. Okay, so now we will get into illumination, which is yellow. Drawing this card is like turning on a light pitch black room. <laughs> when the room is dark, it feels unfamiliar, scary, and mysterious. However, once the lights are on, you can see and feel the truth of your situation and approach what you've illuminated with a deeper knowing and sense. So it looks like with your money and through this heartbreak that it has potential to heal and awaken, the light will awaken you. You will turn on a light in a dark room. Definitely what's going to happen for you when it comes to 2024 money. Okay. Cause this is career. This is money. So definitely there is some new brightness shine and for a new calling um, when it comes to your money. So you may be worried about your losses when it comes to money. There could be some heartbreak when it comes to money, um, some fogginess and lack of clarity. But remember to look at your past um, so you won't repeat it for the future because there's an awakening and there's definitely illumination um, awakening for you when it comes to your money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Remember, this is just the first part of your reading. I'm going to have a series of the numerology and astrology connected to this. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining in and bye.